Roger. Just because it's your last day don't mean you can just sit on your butt dreaming. What? He ain't working. He working. Where's your hat? He lost it. Three times. Kiss my butt, man. Believe me, they change. I've known this girl my whole life. You just tried talking to her lately? Huh? Uh, well, you know, she's busy. She's <laughs> what are you laughing about? A little too busy to talk, huh? Ain't got quite as much time as she used to have? Well, hell, that's all right. All that talking time's over now anyway. She's got a noose around your neck, and you are going down fast. Her hand? Steffi? Darling, I can't talk to you. Oh, oh, will you I'm go so back, so Steffi? If you don't listen to this, I'm right sorry. There's no I'm listening. Ow! You want me to go home? 8.30 tomorrow night at 7 is rehearsal dinner. Flowers for Steffi Lawrence. Oh, put those beautiful monsters in there. Travis, go bathe. Don't worry about the rest of the other hand. 8.30 Friday morning is the graduate breakfast. Someone I know? What award on her nose? No. Paul Fredericks of Hollywood. No. What are they doing here? Our kitchen burned up. They need a place to ice the cake. Steffi, talk to me. Erlen, I can't talk to you. Talk to me. Damn it to hell. Oh, my God. What did he break? Oh, my God. What did he do? He tried to walk across his own living room. He broke Gene Jackson's Venetian glass sermon play. Oh, Daddy. Oh, my God. Bully. Put your hands up. It looks better broke. Come here. 
You choose. Uh, you said you wanted lamb. Chicken. No. Chicken legs. Very good luck. Chicken. Come here, boy. More flowers for Steffi Lawrence. Right in there. Now, do you want bows on Travis's pumps? He's got to have bows. Ah, bull! Don't you even think about leaving this house. Steffi, five minutes. Travis, cannot you see I am busy? How am I supposed to paint that? With the different ones anyway. With the, with the sequins on the two. You having second thoughts about this marriage, boy? Daddy, stop that. You look like you're having a little touch of buyer's remarks. What in the hell is that? That is his earring. We have a match set. Travis has one, and I have one. Travis, I love you. Yeah, we have got to talk about where you're Hello. Going. Oh, Father, we have got to make plans for the rehearsal. Oh, my God! They sent Brooks Garrett's funeral flowers over here. Now, get on the horn. Future. I can say it in one word. Manure. My. Oh, goodness. Oh, Elizabeth, we discussed this eight months ago. Oh, oh, it's all right. Manure is the future energy source of the world. It puts out all them gases, methane, ethane, all that stuff. Stop it right now. Stop it. I'm telling you, you do you and me are going to go into the manure business and we're going to corner the market on future energy supplies. You go down to Dallas and get that hot rod and get your ass back here quick, because Friday I'm having lunch at the Petroleum Club to introduce you to your new partners. You miss that lunch. I'm going to eat your nuts. Daddy, boom. Will you all hush up? I'm talking business over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Son, 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 the future is shit, and you and me are gonna be in it together. Come on, nobody likes a noose. Easy does it. Come on. Son, you're 20 years old. You're getting married in three days. You wouldn't be human if you wasn't a little skittish. Dad, I don't know if I'm ready for this. You're ready. California people? California people, they don't get married till they're 30 or 35. Yeah, they get married four and five different times, too. I wouldn't worry about California if I was you. How many friends you got getting married this summer? Seven. You all gonna get lots of sugar this summer. <laughs> Seems to me that city folks keep their young too young too long. You're grown. You got a good job coming with Bull Lawrence. So now you deserve a good woman. What else you wanna be? Disco king? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, that's it. Grip him with your knees. There you go. You got it. You got it. Good-looking thing. I just wish you had the common sense. Mama? All right, okay, okay. Here we go again. I didn't say anything. Mom, you know I can't work for Dad. It would mean so much to I've him. I've got too much on my mind right now. Son, he just can't do that. I'm not gonna work with quarter horses. I'm gonna do something else. Get off my back! You really want to go to work for Bo Lawrence? No. I'm not gonna work on this farm either. You don't have to live here. That's not the point. That man loves you so much, and you are so good with horses. Oh. Hello, Andrew. Bull Lawrence. Oh, they're hanging all right. Hey, listen, Andrew. My new son-in-law is gonna jump in bed with us. I'm making him a partner. Yeah, I'm having a little shebang over at the petroleum club on Friday, lunch. I want y'all to get a look at him. Are you packed yet? I'm just going to Dallas. 
Well, you've never been to a big city before. It's a lot different than here. It's not like I'm moving it. What do you got to go there for in the first place? Why do you got to go get a hot rod? It's not a hot rod. I don't care if it's got gold wings and flies. You ought to be thinking basic transportation. Ford or Chevy. Shut up. Or a pickup. I am not getting a pickup truck. How much is it? All I need is five down. Piss it Once away. Once I get it, I can use it as collateral. Well, he did earn it. But and now he's going to piss it away. Son, you're going to have a wife to take care of now. And you know how Steffi needs taken care of. Oh, stop that. You're going to have house payments to meet. Now you're going to have all these car payments to meet. Well, if it breaks down. That's all you need. Be stuck someplace with a broke hot rod and no way to get to work. Mm-hmm. Steffi's daddy hey, love hey, that. Hey, just shut up. I don't want you going to Bull Lawrence for money help. Whoa, I'm getting married Saturday. Don't you think I'm old enough to buy my own car? No. Well, how do I look? Like a mafia game show host. <laughs> Barry, she told her mom we're gonna have five kids. That mean you finally gonna get laid? Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> Some important marital advice. Fellatio. Will you hush? Now, doing weddings is my business, me and Walter, so I know a thing or two about what lasts and what don't last so far as marriages go. <laughs> Steffi, listen to me. You're gonna need this. Sorry. We don't do divorces. Will you hush? Bottom line, this is it. People are always telling you how men and women are so different from each other. Ain't that right? <laughs> Will you stop that? Do you want me to leave? No. I can just go home. No, stay. All right, where was I? Men and women. You always hear how uh, all men want is sex, all women want is romance. Well, it ain't true, none of it. I've met some women that are stronger and tougher than most men. And I've known some men that are more sensitive than any woman. You want your marriage to last, there's only one thing you gotta remember. What? He ain't no different than you. Now we're going to talk. About what? Us. What about us? Travis, I know what the matter with you is. You have male prenuptial anxiety attack. What? I read about it in Modern Bride, but it's going to go away as soon as we get married. Let me come up there. Now, if I hadn't let you up here in 15 years, I should have got I'm not going to start tonight. Well, then you come down here with me. Honey, go to bed. <sighs> Steffi, I need you. Oh, baby, you're just horny. You're gonna get me in three more days. Can't you wait? Steffi. <laughs> you are so cute. I love you. I love you. Travis. I love you. I love you, too. Travis Rogers, please. I love you! So what's the trouble, Bubble? 
I don't know you, Steffi. Travis, you've known me your whole life. Damn. Now, my angel, have you been drinking? Yeah. I knew it. You did? Yes, I did. How? Oh. Because I know you better than anybody in the whole world. Oh, you do? Yes, I do. Travis, go to bed. Good boy. Steffi? Uh-huh? I really need this car. Then go to Dallas and buy it. Travis? We're gonna get married. You may kiss the bride. What is this? It's a money belt. No, I have a wallet. Honey, they have pickpockets. Who is that, Mom? Where's Steffi? She's too busy. I thought she was going to be here. Honey, wait. Jeff, I want you to take this. Now, I taped a couple of quarters in there. You call us if you need anything at all. And there's some Insta-Seltzers and Dr. Phelps' phone number. Mom, these are quarters. I put one of those mini-fold raincoats in there. Well, you never know. Mom, I'm not going to hell. We got a schedule, folks! Get a receipt, son. Call us when you get there! Travis! I love you! Service? No, buying a car. So, uh, how long before we get there? Look, kid, you bought a seat, sit in it. No, I like this. This is good. Pick one, honey. Travis Rogers. Frank. Man, I thought I was never going to get out of this town. Where are you going, Dorothy? I? No, I'm going to Dallas.
Travis, no. Steffi, listen to me. Travis, I can't listen to you, honey. I have 10,000 million things to do. Steffi, we are going to buy this car. Travis, that is a Lamborghini. A Gini. Gini. It's an imitation Lamborghini. Oh, great. So it's a fake. It's going to blow up. Okay, fine. Goodbye. Bye, honey. Oh, Fuzzhead, trust me. I know what I'm talking about. Okay. This car is not as expensive as it looks. Uh -huh. I'm going to buy the stripped down floor model with no frills. Uh-huh. And I know all about salesmen. Oh, you got high end, you got low end, you got the blue book price. I am going to cut a deal with this guy. I'm going to take him to the cleaners. Travis, I know you. You're going to take one look at this car and your mouth is going to fall open. Some big old fat bonehead salesman is going to turn you into his best friend. And you're going to buy mag wheels and a pro-handed gear shift. And I am going to spend the rest of my life living in a trailer, eating tuna fish, trying to pay for this dang car. Steffi, I know how to handle a bonehead salesman. Pretty, isn't she? Uh, yeah, she's a beauty. That little baby runs like a scalded dog. Let me get one of my salespeople to show you just what she can do. Johnny? Well, I guess we don't have to go through a whole song and dance now, do we? I mean, some guys gotta work up to what they really want. But you don't look like some guys. Johnny Tigersmith sales. Don't hold that against me. Tra uh, Travis, Travis Rogers. Come on, you're gonna love this. Well, she's available in four or six turbos, or no bow. A big selection of Landau's and other roofs. Lots of hot colors. Midnight blue, bonsai black, fire and ice red. It's unbelievable. It's still a lot more car than I planned on, though. What's wrong with that? It's just that I've only got 19000 With five down, that's all I got, believe me. Money is no problem. I've got a creative financing plan. I like you. My boss owes me a few favors. Let me see if I can get you a special deal. Oh, so we're gonna make a, make a deal here. We'll talk dollars later. Right now, let's talk test drive. Travis, you cannot get sucked in. I will not get sucked in. No options. I don't want any no options. No mag wheels, no six-liter engine. Don't want a six-liter engine. want a radio? Engine. Can't have it. An engine? Travis, if we're ever going to be able to afford this car, you cannot buy one option. This is the options room. I suppose you want alloy wheels? Huh? Mag wheels? Uh, yeah. Yeah. This means yes. Ah, oh, I see. Do it. Ha! All right. Woo! <laughs> you gotta have an engine, Tiger. Yeah. Six liter? Sure. Now just go crazy. Whatever you want. It's all yours. All right. You can do this.
pick back on all them. Honey, they're out of the Wedgwood. Now, you pick uh, Titian or Oxblood. Titian. Oh, I like that. Oh, honey. Chrome carburetor. See? Pearl handle gear shift. See? Extended warranty. That's it. Happy? Yes, I am. Okay. Let me go talk to my boss, and I'll see if I can make a deal. Johnny. Yeah. Fight for me. That's why they call me the tiger. That's why. Hmm. Anyway, we need to talk oh, about you. I am not going to wear oh, my grandmother's sandals. Oh, you are the My God, you are Maybe we get a lovely. You got a trade? No, this is the boy's first car. Research freak. You get him on the options? Mm-hmm. He practically broke the computer. Take his five and nail his ass on the monthlies. Okay. But don't look now because he's watching everything you're doing. I'll be back. I've got to go hand somebody a stick. He wouldn't go for it. Was the fire a nice red? I got it. Steffi? I got it. Travis, what in the hell are you doing still in Dallas? Dallas? Quiet! Travis, talk to me. You're not gonna believe this car. So what? Where in the hell are you? You listen here. I spent $120,000 on a car. I spent it to start. Do I look like I gave birth to it? Get me the manager. You're talking major surgery to pull management away from their sushi. Now you go bring me one of them dipshits right now, or I'm gonna yank their ass into court and have their heads circumcised. Travis, are you listening to me? Yeah, I'd pay to see that. Travis, this is a go wedding. The rehearsal dinner is in three hours. Get your butt back here. Excuse me, sir. Uh, I've got about an hour before my car's gonna be done. Is there a place right here I can get something to eat? Burrito Emporium, right across the street. Thank you. Nice people, too. Woman, let me cook. Shut up, Pedro. Believe me, you don't want my brother to cook for you. If you're hungry, I cook for you. Okay. She's gonna cook, you run. You run away as fast as you can. Shut up, Pedro. Do you want the torpedo burrito or the Tijuana torpedo? Don't do it, man. Tijuana torpedo. You crazy, man. You shut up, Pedro. You want more? No, no. Six is enough. You're gonna die, man. You want more, please? Don't do it. No, no. Gotta go get my car now. What's the damage? Your colon. There you are. Thought I'd lost you. My home phone number's on the back. Give me a call if anything goes wrong. Your home phone number, huh? Go run out, pick drive. First boss for you. <sighs> Damn, I'm not believing this. Unfounded, huh? Unfounded. I knew you could do it, son. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. No, no, because of that, we've decided to make you secretary of the entire world! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, first thing on the agenda is to turn up the music so loud you spontaneously bear a child. Ha. You got it, sir. What's up? I 
love your car. Thank you. He is going to be late to the rehearsal dinner. Travis will be here. Within seconds, he will be pulling up in the driveway. My bones have never lied. They're lying now. We got a major problem here. Diddy, cool it. Travis will be here. And just what makes you so sure? Because I've got him wrapped around my finger. I thought it was a wedding ring you wanted to get wrapped around your finger. No, Dee Dee, dear. Wedding ring goes around the fourth finger. Husband goes around the pinky. <laughs> <laughs> Travis will be pulling in the driveway. Dee Dee? Wrapped around her little finger. Blow it out your ass, Dee Dee. <gasps> Trash mouth. Stephanie, your daddy says we have to leave right now. Mr. Rogers? Oh, she's raining like a cow pissing on a flat rock. Tonight I have just the place to keep it. This car is very hard to tow good. Sure it has to hang like this? Body is made of plastic like Barbie doll. At this very moment, even as we speak, Travis is in our beautiful new car. He is flying home like Romeo to Juliet. That's me. Can you just slow down, please? Don't hurry, Mr. Hudson. It's my life spinning around back there. Mr. Rogers, relax. It's not going anywhere. Can you get this thing down, please? You shall do your job. I shall do mine. Your car is perfectly safe here. You're sure? Absolutely. Now go home, you silly person. I can't go home. Why not? Is there a motel around here or something? Oh, Mr. Rogers is from out of town. Not to worry. Hotel, two blocks, that direction. You will be just fine. However, I would suggest that you walk very quickly and don't speak to anyone. no wedding, we still get paid. Excuse me, sir. <clears throat> you got any rooms? Sir? Hello? Hello? Any rooms? Hello? 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 Sir, excuse me. Any rooms? Well, this is it. 
Used to be the elevator engine room. We call it the top of the shaft suite. Don't let the bed bugs by. Mm. Chicken, chicken, can I help you? Chicken, chicken. You want a bucket? How many pieces? Oh, no. We done lost one more. Here he is! I got him! Here he is! He's on the telephone! Travis, are you hurt, Angel? No, I'm fine. Then you're dead. Steffi, are you alone? Because there's something I really got to tell you. This better be good. Well, I'm, I'm still in Dallas. <laughs> I'm having a small problem with the car. <laughs> what kind of small problem? Needs a minor readjustment. Are you sure it's not us that needs a minor readjustment? Uh, Steffi. Don't you now Steffi me. Now, you would tell me if anything was the matter, wouldn't you, Travis? Honey, nothing is the matter. And you promise me you're going to be at Daddy's Petroleum Luncheon tomorrow. I promise. Even if I have to take the bus. Travis? Travis? Honey? What? You remember when you carved our two hearts in the oak tree in Daddy's yard? Uh-huh. Oh, Travis, just think in exactly 46 hours and 57 minutes, those two hearts will be as one. Uh, Steffi, I gotta go. Bye. Travis! 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 Shit! I love you too, Angel. Johnny wouldn't do that to me. Wrong number. That card. Johnny Tiger Smith, home. Five five five. Two seven. Eight two. I panic over nothing. I get all worked up. Chicken, chicken. Huh. Say what? <laughs> Man, do you want to order a chicken? <laughs> I think he'd already had his yard bird. <laughs> yeah, how'd he like it? 
That's the man that was in here. Man, we don't know how to cook. That was our first customer. Listen to that man. What kind of recommendation is he gonna give us? Would you shut up? Listen, brother. I'd be very sorry about the way that chicken made you feel. But see, this is our first day in business, D. Man, don't tell him that. I think he already knows. I heard that already. No, 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 no. Look at look, look at listen. Whatever she told you, she told me worse. What? I mean, however she screwed you over, she screwed me worse. You get it? No, I don't get it. Well, let me tell you, uh -huh. okay? Yeah. I'm talking about that little bitch took off last night with two months advance. And 25 fellas like you howling for my blood. No. Yeah. Women. <laughs> Damn, my father told me not to do this. What happened? Two miles outside of the dealership, the seats start going forward, the sunroof chops off my hand, the stereo starts bobbing in tape, a beautiful girl comes by, I'm having a good time, the car falls apart. I was not supposed to do that. Well, it did. She said you were going to help me. Mm, she shouldn't have told you that. Well, she did. Well, she shouldn't have. Gentlemen, the beautiful part of this process is that there's an unlimited supply of raw materials. Now, the one thing us Texans produce that there's not a chance in the world I was running out of it is manure. Even if we all suddenly turned into vegetarians, we could still stay on top of the pile. Gentlemen, there's not a downside to this. The only thing we have to fear is constipation. <laughs> I was hoping to take this opportunity to introduce my new son-in-law, Travis Rogers. Unfortunately, the little bastard didn't show up. So, instead, I, Steffi Lawrence, will be speaking in his place. You boys are probably tired of hearing my daddy run on at the mouth. I'm here to tell you how to make some money. Stereo replacement macroacoustic $1,360, covered by the warning. No. Damage from towing, all told here, I'd say you're running about 3,200 bananas. Oh. Did I mention labor? Extra. Buongiorno, my friend, and welcome to the exciting 800 number world of Trouvaille. My name is Giuseppe Roma, your pre-recorded troubleshooter in the extraordinary world of Trouvaille. As you know, your Trovari is a state-of-the-art transportation designed by the master auto builders of Europa. It doesn't work, Giuseppe. Uh, but sometimes uh, even perfection uh, can go wrong. Yep. If uh, you believe uh, the challenge you experience uh, is engine problem, please press uh, numero uno on your touch tone phone. If it is a transmission, uh, press uh, numero due. Brakes, three. And if uh, you don't know what is wrong in the whole wide world, press uh, numero quattro. Uh oh. Please, allow Giuseppe to say a word or two about how wise you've been to get the extended warranty. I didn't get it. Because, you see, my friend, Giuseppe can only help you if you have that fine extended warranty. Oh. If you have the factory warranty only, I'm very sad because now we must say ciao. Thank you. <sighs> What does it get you, huh? Back to work, boys. Curious how many cars have been breaking down since you took over this place. Oh, really? Well, I guess that's why we got you working here, you know, so you can fix them. But I can't fix this. 
57 Chevy carburetor in a two-day-old Travari. Listen, man. I'll sell the cars, and you keep them running. Or you can get out. One phone call from me, and you're in San Quentin. Praying you don't drop the soap. All right, that's it. You're out of here, buddy. You'll find. I don't give an airborne shit, Dick. Get the hell out of here. Get off that goddamn thing. Get your tools together. Get out of here now. You hear me? Goddamn grease monkey. You've been chopping my cars. And you're next. One way to wise. Must leave 806. Got five hours to waste, son. That's okay. Wasting my whole life. running a little late. Late? I am standing at the altar. Steffi, calm down. It's just a rehearsal. Just? It is my wedding rehearsal, and the groom isn't even here. Where are you, and what is that music? Steffi, I'll be there. You listen to me. You listen to me, good boy. You get your butt back here, PDQ, or this wedding is tits up and taken on water. Love you too, honey. Excuse me. Hmm. 
What was that all about? My bride's waiting for me at the altar. Well, I guess I'm your bachelor party. They're in the back room. Well, let me go get them. Damn it to hell. What's the matter? Nothing. I just lost my third fingernail. One, two, three. Going, going, gone. My fingernails are leaving me just like my hair is. If you'd breastfed her a little longer, she wouldn't be so damn jumpy. Is that funny, Daddy? <laughs> I don't think that's funny. What's going on, boy? I can't come home tonight. There's no way I can get married. Well, come on home, son. We'll talk about it. There's nothing to talk about. I don't love Steffi. Yes, you do. Dad, I hardly know her. You've known her all your life. Hell, you grew up together. Come on home. Dad, I'm in love with another woman right now. What? But Dad, I'm in her bed right now. <laughs> now listen to me, son. You tell your mother this, I'll skin you alive, but on the morning of my wedding, I woke up in the bunk with somebody else myself. You did? <laughs> Do you think you're the first man ever had a bachelor party? No. Then get your butt home, boy. You got a good woman waiting here for you. Am I gonna lose you? Johnny, Johnny, please. You don't like that? Of course I like it. It's just, come here. I want to tell you something. Uh, what? I'm getting married in five hours. That might be a big mistake. You think? Ah! Wait, how can I think with you doing that? You're not supposed to I think. I got to think. I got to figure this out. Okay, think about this. What? Come with me to California. California? Oh, relax. I can't go to California. Trust me. I tried that once. Try this. What? Let's go get your car. The way I figured, the only problem we got is with the woofers. Speakers. Dolby's. Chefs. Four-legged tail waggers. Jesus. Dogs. These ain't Benji's, Bob. These puppies are pissed. So what do we do? That's where these come in. No boner's got to be firestorm before we can break that piece of Euro shit of yours out of there. Meat bombs. 
2.40 Z's ground round, peanut butter centers, creamy, not crunchy. Makes their tongues do the Sistine Chapel. Wait, 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 wait. Why so we just steal it? It's yours. You know, pal, the Constitution wasn't written on etch a sketch. But every once in a while, you got to twist the knobs a little. What is that? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. If he missed the wedding rehearsal, he'll miss the wedding. That's why they call it a rehearsal. It's kind of like a dry run. Daddy, cool it. Now, listen here, young lady. It's not just your butt on the line. Now, hold it. I have known Travis my whole life. He will be here. And I've been an oil man my whole life. I've drilled a lot of dry holes, and I know the sound of sucking wind. Now, you best call this one off. in a chopped car. Unless it's a tag team of midget wrestlers. What the hell is this shit? Cars, it ain't gonna be where I'm working. Chickens come home to roost. Help me, goddammit, call the police! Yeah, why don't you call the police, man? I'd love to talk to them. God damn it! Get back here! I like the way you drive, boy. Hey, I thought we were just getting my car back. Well, we got it. You destroyed the whole building. You can't destroy nothing. We just rearranged it. Here. I want you to have this. Yeah, it ain't worth much, but what the world is these days. 
Now listen, you two take off before the cops get here. California. Jamaica. So long. insane bull yeah boys are going crazy i told you that we should have canceled this thing yesterday well don't look at me i, I told you to pull the plug three days ago some kind? No. What was the last thing you talked about? Nothing. Hmm? He kept... I kept talking about the wedding. Yeah? And kept trying to talk to me. What about? I don't know. I wasn't listening. Mm -hmm. When I was eight years old, my daddy gave me a pony. But he was too wild to ride, so we had to keep him in the West Pasture. And I went to visit him every day, and I fed him sugar. And I couldn't wait for the day that my pony would settle down, and I could ride him, and he'd really be all mine. One day, I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing, and I left the gate open, and he got away. I never saw him again. He never came back. Well, it looks like I left the gate open again. Travis tried many times to talk to me, but I wasn't uh, there. So I have learned that a wedding is not a marriage. Please don't be angry with Travis because um, he didn't do anything wrong. I wanted to give him a home and a family, but 
I guess that's just not what he needs. That's exactly what he needs. I had just about given up on you. Sorry I'm late. What in the Sam Hill do you think you're doing? Marrying your daughter. Working with my dad. Now you wait just a minute. Shh, shh. Can't talk now. Dad, I've been thinking. Hit it. I like this a lot. It's kind of neat. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here in the sight of God and in the face of this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God, signifying unto us the mystical union betwixt Christ and his church. Travis, wilt thou have this woman to thy wedded wife? To live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony, wilt thou love her, comfort her, Honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto her, so long as you both shall live. Sounds like a bye. I gotta go home now. We could have had a good time. We did. Wait. I wanna come. To my wedding? Never been to one before. You may kiss the brat.